You are about to start sweating when I tell you this. Do you know every time your child exercises in school, plays at the playground, runs around the house, they become a little less smarter than before? And that is due to one reason. They sweat their intelligence out of them. It's not the exercises that make them lose their intelligence. It's the water in their body. You'd probably never think of this, but there exists such an easy hack to make your kids smarter, and it's something that you quite literally flush away down the drain every single day. Yep, it's water. On average, a household with kids uses something like 300 liters of water every day. We do our dishes, our laundry, cleaning, but how much of it actually goes into us? More importantly, how much of it are our children drinking? Harvard researchers tested more than 4,000 children over four years and discovered that most children don't drink enough water. In fact, more than half the test group weren't even hitting their minimum daily water intake. Lead researcher Erica Kenny was surprised that almost one in four kids actually drank no water during the course of the entire day. And this is leaving our children mildly dehydrated. According to pediatrician Dr. Anisha Patel, while mild dehydration isn't exactly life-threatening, not drinking enough water can result in health issues, such as cognitive impairment, headaches, and nausea. Yep, you heard that right. Lack of water, lack of functioning brain cells. And this should come as no surprise. We already know that most of our body is made up of water. The brain is mostly made up of water too, about 75% of it. Water transports much needed oxygen to the brain, which allows it to function optimally, transmitting information to the rest of our body. This delicate balance of water in the brain means that dehydration, even as small as 2%, disrupts brain functions and hinders our brain cells from working at their best. That's the reason Dr. Anisha Patel says that what can help kids to learn and perform better in school is simply keeping them hydrated. She's not alone in believing this. Researchers have conducted studies over and over again with adults as well as children to see whether water does indeed improve cognitive performance. In one study, a group of school children were asked to drink an additional liter of water over the course of the day. All the kids were then given a test. The children who drank the extra liter of water scored better, especially when it came to attention, visual search, short-term memory, and motor skills. In another study, instead of a full additional liter, the children were told to drink water as much as they wanted. The kids who drank more water also did better on the test. To really get to the nitty-gritty of it all, yet another study got a group of kids to drink just one glass of water while their peers didn't. That one glass of water still saw these children outperforming those who didn't drink any water. Think about it. If one glass of water can make that much difference positively, imagine if you drank one glass of water less every day than you should. Imagine the negative results of that on your brain functions. If the benefits of water are that it keeps you awake, alert, able to focus, think, and concentrate better, then the converse, the situation in your brain if you lack enough hydration, seems quite grim indeed. One article states it quite plainly. Dehydration is an adverse state that might render the school day more challenging for children. This dehydrated situation is very often made worse because of a few factors. One, children sweat. A lot. All parents will know this. How many times a day have you had to wipe sweat from your child as they were playing? Sometimes they are quite literally dripping with sweat after some strenuous physical play. This means that they're losing even more of their body's water through sweat and they need to drink even more to replenish their water levels. Two, it's hot. If you're living somewhere with a warm climate or experiencing summer, then it's very likely that you're losing more water than usual. And global warming isn't exactly helping the situation either. Three, children actually have a higher proportion of body water than adults do. Adults are made up of around 60% water, while children are more likely around 75%. Again, this means that children need to drink even more water to keep their hydration levels at full tank, so to speak. Four, children just don't think about it. You can't tell your child some science facts and how they really need water for their brain to function. 
and suddenly they're drinking a glass of water every one to two hours on a clockwork schedule. Unlike us, if we have a health condition and our doctor tells us to drink more water, we'll be making sure we're doing just that. Tell kids they need to drink more water, and it either falls on deaf ears or they simply forget. Registered dietitian nutritionist Christy King says that by the time children complain of thirst, it usually means they're already dehydrated. To tell whether your child is dehydrated or not, Christy recommends making sure their urine color is a pale or light yellow and not a dark yellow. You may also be able to tell by their mood. She adds, a well-hydrated child typically is energized, whereas if they are dehydrated, they may be sleepy, fussy, or more moody than normal. The general rule is that kids need six to eight glasses of water a day. But the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics says parents also need to pay close attention to how much water their children drink before, during, and after physical activity, especially in hot weather. The recommendation is at the very least a half a cup of water every 15 minutes of physical activity. While six to eight glasses of water a day might not seem like a lot to us as adults, sometimes getting our children to drink any water at all may seem like an impossible task. Here are three ways you can help your child stay hydrated all day long. Track their drinking in a fun way. If you already have a reward system for chores at home, you can add drinking water to the list. If not, it's a great way to start a reward system going. Sit down with your kids and mark out how many glasses they need to drink a day. And perhaps they get a sticker for every glass or for every day they hit the mark. After a month, perhaps a little gift. Movie night with popcorn? Let your kids choose a suitable reward and it'll be an incentive they can work towards. Make sure water is everywhere. One of the reasons why kids might not want to drink water is because they simply dislike the taste of water or dislike water because it has no taste. At an age when they crave sugary drinks, kids will also very often refuse drinking any water at all until their parents give in and offer them fruit juices, cordials, soft drinks, anything else, just so they are at least a little bit hydrated. This can actually be counterintuitive. Instead, you should make water the only option available to them. This way, chances are when they're thirsty, they'll have to drink water because there aren't any other sugary drinks to distract them. The bonus is they might come to find water especially refreshing and thirst quenching as it should be. Within the home, water should be readily available for them everywhere. Try a jug of water on the dining table, a bottle of water in the fridge, and a water bottle or thermos in their playroom. Even registered dietitian Jillian Kubala recognizes that many children just don't like plain water and that some extra effort is needed to encourage them. She suggests making water more appealing by serving it in a cup or bottle with their favorite cartoon character on it. Anything to make them drink. Get creative. Jillian Kubala also suggests infusing water with fruits if they really don't like the taste of plain water. Adding fruits also gives children that extra boost of nutrition. Some winning combinations she suggests are cucumber and watermelon, blueberries and raspberries, strawberries and lemon, or orange and lime. In fact, she suggests getting your child involved by letting them choose their favorite flavor pairings and helping to add the ingredients to make the infusion. And of course, the best role model your children have is you. So make sure you're getting your eight glasses of water a day too. As they say, a family that stays healthy together stays happy together. If you feel that this video has helped you in one way or another, be sure to share it so fellow parents get to know this important information. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel because we will be launching new informative parenting videos every week. See you next time!